Um, I wanted to start with um, uh, a couple things that I forgot to mention last night about the history of Coast. Uh, for those of you who were there, you didn't hear this because I forgot to turn to the next page. And uh, for those of you who uh, missed out last night, you missed on, on a number of wonderful things, including all the great posters. But um, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, the first graduate, uh, PhD graduate out of the Coast Laboratory, Steve Chapin, uh, who is a professor at uh, Syracuse University, and I don't know if he's in the room. Steve, are you here? He's there in the back. So he still remembers those student days and sits in the back. Um, but Steve uh, graduated in uh, uh, 1993 and was the first PhD graduate in security uh, after Matt Bishop, who graduated in 1984. Um, many of you may know Matt as a, a distinguished security uh, uh, academic uh, currently at UC Davis. Um, Steve also is responsible for the name COAST. Uh, when we were founding the laboratory, we decided we needed a good acronym to describe what we're doing and to put on, on, particularly on government proposals. It's impossible to get a government proposal funded unless you have an acronym. And so uh, uh, Steve took a couple of the words uh, went home, I guess, played with a dictionary, threw dice, uh, consulted uh, tea leaves, and came up with the name Coast. We, as a group, loved it, adopted it. Then we needed a logo, and it turns out we found that in clip art, we found a, a five and a half inch floppy disk. We stylized it, turned it uh, 45 degrees, and if you look back on the poster, those of you who ever saw a five and a half inch floppy disk will recognize it. Those of you who did not, consider yourselves lucky. Uh, but it goes to the history of when we had uh, uh, that kind of equipment present in the center. We actually had systems that booted from those floppies. And, and so that's part of the history. Uh, I encourage you at some point during a break to look at that poster. See the names of some of the people. See if you recognize them. See the places that they went to work and that, where they had an influence. Uh, it, it really laid a great groundwork for what we uh, later came to have as serious. 